<coughs> All right. Thanks one more time. Thanks for joining this training program for Revenue Cloud Advance. Today we are going to learn about the derived price, which is called percent of total price. Let's try to see how we can set up this percent of total price in the Salesforce RC. So let me come back to my Revenue Cloud R. I am going to click on a my product catalog management. I would like to create a new product. Name called demo. Derived price. In this demo derived price, let's type in the product descriptions, the product code, and uh, let's make it active. And the availability date is a backend date. All right, and then hit save button. So once we have created this product, let's come back to your related. Under related, you have to add an assign to the selling model. So here we are going to attach one selling model called monthly base pricing, term based monthly, and then hit save button. After creating this term based monthly selling model, come back to your demo derived price product. I would like to attach the price book. So let's again, I need to select a term based monthly as a price book. And this makes sure you'll have to check this checkbox called is derived price. So the purpose of is derived price is to, you are going to override the price of the demo derived price, the product code with help of any other product actually. The source source product could be your, let's suppose, any hardware product or any software product. And their unit price, the percent of those unit price product, source product, we are going to override the value or we are going to override the value of unit price of the demo derived price. So let's hit save button. Let's put a zero dollar as of now. I'm not going to put any dollar value for this demo derived price product. So once you are done, now you have to come back and assign a category here. So we are going to assign a category called hardware catalog category. And then hit save button. After you've done this, come back to your decision table and refresh this table. You have to click on a wrench icon, go to the setup search for the decision table click here on a decision table and then go back to your price book entry v2 table and click on a refresh button once you have refreshed your refresh date will be updated here so today is 29 so it will update at 29 as a date now come back again here and let's search for the app launchers, search for the derived price. Let's go ahead and create one derived price record for this particular product called transactional. The derived price scope will be transactional. The pricing source will be your product. The price book, basically the standard price book that I am currently using. Now the derived product is the one that we have created called demo derived price. For this particular product, I would like to derive my price based on my source product called headset. And for the headset product, if I would like to take the net unit price multiplied by 30% of that product. And I would like to make it effective from past date and make it save button. So once you have added this record, come back and refresh this one. You see the record is created for our product called demo derived price. Now let's go ahead and check whether this demo derived price is working properly for our derived price called percent of price or not. I would like to come back to my any one of the code. Let's open the code, click on a browse catalogs, click on a hardware catalog. Go and next. In that hardware catalog, I would like to add my headset, including I would like to add 
the product let me add that headset product and the demo derived price so these two i have to add let's click on add to add selection to the code and hit save button we cannot price when contributing product are missing please add so demo derived price let me come back here so which product is a dependent actually so i would like to see first so demo derived price uh, is dependent on let me come back to the derived price and let me see i am going to the derived price now open this one so demo product is depending on our headset so the headset should be added in our code otherwise i will have an error message so headset is added here we can't price when the contributing products are missing please add the contributing product to the transactions so let me refresh one more time let me see if i come back to the hardware catalog click on next let's add the headset one more time let's increase the quantity to 10 click on add and then save code so this got added again i cannot see the pricing here so let me go back to the setup and refresh one more time all right so let me delete all these lines first and then we will reconfigure all right so error is got removed let's try to click on our browse catalog let's come back again in hardware catalog again come back to your demo derived price let's click on add options and then hit save code button something is not working properly that i need to again revalidate it all right so let me come back to the i have another a product let me tell you the product name called um webinar derived price in that webinar derived price i did the same thing term based monthly and the term based monthly as a price book then selling model and then i have added to the laptop category so webinar price i have also make the entry in our derived price so let me come back here in derived price let's see the webinar derived price that i have created in that derived price if you see the product name called webinar and it is also a term based monthly and the standard price book i have been using the source product is a headset and the pricing source is a product actually and the derived pricing scope is basically the transactional one so and we are using the unit price of multiplied by 30% this is what i have been using currently let's try to add that product webinar derived price into our sales in into our code and then let's see so let me remove all this one click on browse catalog again come back here click on a hardware catalog let this time i would like to attach this the webinar derived price and this webinar derived price is depending on our let's set let's click on assign add to the selection to the code and then hit save button so let me remove all these uh, extra lines from the code i like to remove this one 
this one and the demo one so that I can do a calculation for alright so as you see the $50 of 30% will become a $15 for the webinar price and this webinar derived price is coming on the basis of the headset so it is coming on the headset if I go to my uh, derived price item right let me come back go back to our derived price and then I will show you come back to the derived price here In that derived price, if I again come back to the one that I have cre created, it's called webinar derived price. It is again a term based monthly and this particular price is depending on the source called headset and the pricing source is basically the product and derived pricing scope is transactional and this is the formula that I am using for 30% of that headset product. So 30% of the headset product is my derived price for, price for our webinar derived price. So if I come back here in our ARC code, in that code, if I can see the webinar derived price, which is depending on my headset product and headset product is a unit price of 30% is basically the $15. So this is all about our derived price for percent of total pricing for the revenue cloud advance. If you guys have any questions or any uh, more topics you would like to learn some, something from me, please reach out to me on my WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 9582388885. I will try to help you and groom you on revenue cloud engineering. Thanks for more time. Thanks for joining this training program.